Welcome back, fellow gamers. So I want to talk to you today about the Eternal Masters reprint and how that's going to be affecting you and me. <laughs> so Wizards of the Coast this week announced that they are going to be re-releasing Eternal Masters in a limited print run. This is exciting in the sense that they've never actually done this. It's usually been one and done. Eternal Masters sold out really quick. I think people weren't going to, they didn't realize how limited of a print run it originally was going to be. And it was pretty much like, I, I could still find packs, but at like 20, 25, $30 a pack, it's pretty expensive. What's going to happen is that prices are going to fall across the board. However, I am not referring to foil prices. Foil price would be a completely different thing. I'll talk about it in two seconds. If you have any cards from that that you're kind of holding on to for prices to go up, not going to happen, or it's just going to take longer for it to actually happen. Now, they did say it's a modest print run. I take that to be like, it's it's small. I think Wizards of the Coast is very wary about flooding that market with Eternal Master Stable. It does create a situation where people who were hoarding the product now have seen their investment chip. With that said, foils. Let's jump into foils. I think that foils for commons and uncommons will drop. I don't know how much, but you can tell the expensive ones, the ones that are really expensive, will drop, I'd say, a good amount, maybe five, ten dollars if you're looking at a you know twenty-five dollar uncommon or something like that. A uh, foil rares, I don't think will take a hit that much. Uh, mythic rares shouldn't take a hit at all. I don't think there'll be enough mythic rares put into the pool for it to make a significant impact. Maybe two, three dollars. Uh, if there's some that was over, overly inflated, maybe it gets it gets a bump down, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's doom and gloom if you are holding these foil mythics and rares. They shouldn't, just by the sheer number of product that's going to be open, there won't be. But commons, uncommons, you can you can pretty much bet that they're going to drop. Uh, how much is anybody's guess, but I would say that that's the expectation going in. If they don't happen, great if you have them. If you were waiting on getting them, now's, now's a good time to, to wait even longer to see how much they do drop. I don't think they're gonna be rising at all. And you know, Wizards of the Coast or WPN, even stress, like I, we hope these are gonna be used for drafts. I doubt that they're gonna be used for drafts. Drafts are so expensive to begin with that if your goal is, again, I'm reiterating what I said like back in May, if your goal is to have a draft product, make it accessible, make the price point accessible, look at Conspiracy 2. MSRP was low. It was great uh, obviously they didn't really get played that much because Kaladesh came out shortly thereafter but I don't think that's an indication that Conspiracy 2 was a failure in my mind it was a great success it did a lot of things right so that's my thoughts I'd like to know what your opinion is on Eternal Masters being reprinted is this a good thing is it a bad thing how do you feel and if you'd like to check out some other videos you can check these two out right here uh, also if you'd like to subscribe you can do that right here and I'd like to thank you for making me a part of your day. And until next time, good game.